We are in the Iron City right now, and right behind me is Hannibal, a 12-year-old girl who has programmed an automated solar system for a clinic in her community. Hannibal Nyako is my name. I am 12 years of age and I'm in grade 7. I am a student of Hugh Montessori. I made an automatic light system for Iron City Clinic. Congratulations. Thank you. Ah, you are doing amazing. 12 years old and thinking about a project like this for your community. What inspired you? What inspired you to do this for Iron City? Okay, a baby died in an incubator at my general hospital. Wow. I was a bit sad. It was, the baby died due to doom, so, so mm. I was a bit sad. I was like, how can a baby die? She's a new baby. And, and you decided to do this for Iron City. How, how did you go about Because when I was 12 years, I was thinking about just getting up, eating food, playing around. 12 years, you are thinking about this project that you have done for your community. How did you come about this? We have been learning um, electricity and other things in our schools. Mm. And then Girl Guide also gave girls opportunity to express their feelings, like express their project and something about their community. And I made a solar light aut automatic system. Mm. So then I wanted to implant it here so that maybe uh, nothing like that will happen, like a baby will die or anyone oh. will die. How did you develop interest in? engineering in electronics when did you realize that you no know, engineering is something i should go into because uh, in ghana engineering it's girls don't really venture into it and you are only 12 years 12 years and you are already into the engineering and making huge projects like this for a community clinic how did you develop interest in it Okay, so when I made my first project, that mm. was an um, automatic um, smart, like smart sanitizer, hand sanitizer. Mm. It was just like a school project, and mm. I made that one. And I thought, like, I've been able to make it, so why don't I start doing that? Wow. What were some of the challenges you faced whilst you were building this project into vision? So when we were done with this project, mm. like, we tried, um, like we were trying it out, and then when you own it, it will start making noise. So we didn't know why, and then like, so then I realized that the sensor does not want to see any reflection of light, mm -hmm. and then we made something to cover it. Up. Just wow! I know bringing up a project like this, you need a lot of funding, you need a lot of materials. How did you go about it, and how did you come with the? I don't know if you use transistors or whatsoever. I did a little bit of science in school, but I threw it away, so shame on me anyways. But how did you come about the materials that you used to bring this project into reality? Okay, you can get all this from an electric shop for anyone. Here in Ghana? Yes. Oh, really? Are they very expensive? Not that much. So how much, how much did you invest into it? Connecting it and using all these wires, maybe it will cost like 1000 You are doing so well, you've done so well. We hope that you keep this up, but uh, how, how do you feel about this impact? Today the clinic was commissioned and you were given credit for the solar that you've done for them. How do you feel about this impact that you have made here in Iron City? I am happy and I'm grateful and I'm also happy that I've been able to do this for them and then that to, to save a lot of lives from mm. now on. I'm really happy. What are your future plans for your community, for Ghana and Africa as a whole and the whole world? Like to help the agriculture sector. Oh, it's like the girl is all around you. She is into electronics, physics, she wants to be an architect. Right now she's talking about agriculture. Such an intelligent girl we have over here. Are you working on any projects at the moment? No, please. Mm. So when should Ghana, when should the whole world expect your next project? Soon. Soon. And what is that going to be? I, can you give us a hint? I don't really know. 
you are planning it. She's planning and flirting. But Ghana, you should watch out for Hannibal doing this at 12 years. It's mind blowing. 12 years, Charlie. When I was 12 years old, you know what I was doing? I eat, I disturb my parents, I watch TV, I pick ball, I go and play around, come back, sleep, and and Hannibal is just 12 years old and she has identified a problem in her community after a child died in an incubator due to doom so and then she has decided to make an automated solar system for her community she didn't just do it for fun she tried it at home it worked and today it has been implemented on this clinic that you see behind us here in ion city kaswa You are going to take us on a tour of your project, explain everything to us, where you have this and then how everything works here in the clinic. So we're good. Let's go. So this is the solar panel. It collects sunlight and generates it into electricity for the battery to use and to power the whole system. Um, the solar panel is connected to the battery and charge controller. These are the bulbs and here I have mine photo resistor that's the sensor so the sensor will detect the darkness then then it's the light will come on so i would like to demonstrate how the light will come on so i will let my teacher help because it's day time so it will not come on but i'll let my teacher help This is the storage room where the battery and charge controller is. So this is the battery and charge controller. It's on the floor, but we'll put it up later. The charge controller cuts power when it's fully, when the battery is fully charged, so that the battery will last longer than not spoil. And the battery um, uses the electricity that the solar panel has converted to power the light system. If you are watching this video and you are enjoying it, you know what you can do? Hit the subscribe button, like this video, and share. We need to let the world know what this 12-year-old girl has done. Leave a comment in the comment section. Let us know what you think about this project. My name is Kwame Bless Wings. You can call me Wings for short. We have Annabelle's teacher here. What's the name again? Okay, my name is uh, Anand from A.V. Montessori School at Ashon Manor State, to be precise. At 12 years, what, what did you do for your community? Actually, at 12 years, <laughs> I remember back in the days in yeah. Takade. Yeah. You can see me running through some bushes, some mango trees, some hey. trees, like <laughs> trying to make a living. Oh. Uh, oh. Trying to make a living, but that is how God and brother start to also impart into our little ones who are coming to be our future leaders. Hannibal is your student. Yeah, Hannibal is my student. Yeah. Your student. How, how do you feel about this project that she has done? Okay. For the project, we say that's a very good attempt because we have so many problems that we need to solve. But we need some people to bring those ideas out. We don't just teach. We help the child. We build the child mentally, emotionally, physically, all the aspects of life just to bring them out for them to see their potential to solve problems and also help them to create their own career path in their life so that not about being enforced to do something in life when we we're growing up that's where we were taught that no you need to be a doctor you need to be a lawyer you need to be this you need to be that you need to be that but that system of change now we educate them we teach them we the facilitators help them guide them coach them for them to bring out their potential and then they will build on it because they have that interest it will let them bring that excellence in them so we asked them they were 10 students and then we asked them whatever do you want to do to solve a problem within your community within your facility and then she brought up this automated solar system that will solve our doom saw areas that we sometimes have in our country wow congratulations to hill view school you know i don't normally do some of these things my videos are not sponsored but for a 12 year old 
from Hillview doing this in their community. Charlie, I'm going to put their numbers on the screen. You need to take your children there. Take your children to Hillview because we need to solve more problems in Ghana. We need to solve more problems in our communities. The leaders said we should fix the country. So we are fixing it. Yes, we are fixing it. Take your child to somewhere that they will teach the child to fix a problem because this project here is mind blowing. It's amazing. And if we can get our children to begin to think about these issues that are happening in our community, even at the age of 12, and how they can solve it, then I think Ghana will be a better place for you and I. Hannibal, your colleagues are watching. People are 12 years and they are living like me. What message do you have for them? They should change. But I don't mean they should change completely from playing. They should play a bit, but they should get an interest or they should get interest in STEM and other activities that will help them improve their lives and that will make their lives easier when they grow. Somebody is watching out there, they want to sponsor your next project, they want to help you pursue your engineering, agricultural, architectural dreams. How can they reach you to sponsor you? They should reach out to my mom. Oh, they should reach out to your mom. Yes. Thank you so much for your time. You did a great job and Ghana, the whole world, wishes that you continue. We want you to do more projects, bring in more ideas. Let's fix the country together.